criticism improves my artwork. artwork on my drawings, my creativity. Elon Musk was mentioning that uh, to listen to criticism, uh, they may not always be right, but it's good to listen to it. like uh, so many companies that don't listen to their customers that uh, want this product or that product to change or customer service here or that uh, my shirt should be printed on red shirts and girl shirts on gray shirts um, remember one time Someone had critiqued my work and said, uh, Zero's nose is not a red ball. That's the way that I drew it. That it's a uh, glowing pumpkin. And I was like, uh, fuck. She could have just said, um, I think it was a chick. Um, it's, one, it's on one of my earlier YouTube videos. She just could have given it a thumbs up and moved on, but she uh, she pointed out my my mistake, and that's me just uh, glancing over the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas movie and not pausing it and zooming in. So criticism is good because it helps uh, to remind you where you are where you are at on the map of progress. I need to think that there's much more to say on this uh, topic. I can't think of something else. But uh, if, if you don't like this piece, this, uh, my tone of voice, what I'm saying, the lighting on this, um, the subject that I'm drawing. Go ahead, thumbs it down, or thumbs it up. Critique it. Why does it suck? Why does it not suck? I don't, I, don't, I like criticism. Criticism, I invite it. I don't mind those comments on Facebook. But on the other hand, if you're the motherfucker that says, can you draw me this for me? Why do you come over and wash my fucking car? Come over and uh, rake up the front yard, rake up the backyard, pick up the dog shit. There's this fucking plant that I want to, uh, heavy plant that I want to, um, 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 plant in the background, take it out of its pot and, 
got to uh, be cool if I was to um, garden more. So how about you just uh, come over and garden? Rain or shine, just fucking garden. That's... If you say no, then why the fuck can I, can I not say no? To, um, no, I'm not going to draw that. People asking for fucking drawings. Um, you know, I don't go over to your job and knock the uh, sailor's cocks out your mouth. Tell you how to how to run your show. Uh, that comment was by. Uh, <laughs> That joke was by Jimmy Carter, a British comedian, I believe. Funny motherfucker. Yeah, criticism is it's all welcome here. Give me a free drawing. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking beg somewhere else. And again, if uh, you're willing to pick up all the dog shit, uh, garden for me. No, it's not gonna be fucking <laughs> real simple. You know, fucking get, make sure you can get, you can do Marine Corps cleaning. And they're gonna go out there and uh, make sure every fucking piece of shit is picked up. There's no fucking shit stains in the dirt or the grass. So. If you aren't willing to, uh, do all that housework for a drawing, I would say that you're a lazy fuck. Because it requires no thinking. No thinking. You don't... I'm not asking you to hey, build a fucking rake out of uh, this fucking tree and um, wire and uh, fight up the dogs and pick up the shit. No. But you want motherfuckers to draw for you, motherfuckers that uh, have put in the hours, the time, the study. I'm not going to say the education, but the study. <clears throat> and uh, paying attention to shape, size, detail, contrast, shading, dynamic lighting. And drink my drug coffee. <clears throat> I'll go make me a coffee pot and coffee. Or, um, for a sketch. Not a drawing, a quick sketch.
but you could be um, working on bigger drawings and you keep and if you keep on hearing the criticism like the head's too big or maybe you're drawing the hands too big all the hands look weird or maybe you need to start working on your um, anatomy of fingers and hands wrist and that could also mean um, looking at more um, reference photos I pause a lot of cartoons that I've watched in the past, um, especially um, like The Emperor's New Groove, Nightmare Before Christmas. I think that's my favorite Disney movie, Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Is it Gronk or Kronk? Get his name. And it's a, uh, a balance when you've got to, you know, avoid the naysayers. There's a different, there's a different criticism where someone could say, "Oh, that's stupid," versus, "Oh, I need to add more blacks to that, more, uh, more medium grays, or the lighting's wrong. It should be like this or like that. Or the lighting looks a bit off."
I'm glad that uh, PewDiePie was um, <clears throat> labeled a, a terrorist. <laughs> Not a terrorist, but uh, as an anti Semite. Because his fans, his. Fuck, how many? Is it 35 million fans or 5 million? I forget the fucking number. He has, he has a lot of uh, subscribers on YouTube. But, um. His fans know that uh, that it's not accurate. That it's not true. That he's a fucking anti-Semite. He's not. And all that does is make I, the people that you do not want to piss off is the young crowd. Why is that? Those young motherfuckers are going to turn into adults. They're going to remember that the Wall Street Journal is wrong. Is wrong. So, and me, I'll, me, I know that I'm dancing on a um, fine wire where I know there are a lot of young motherfuckers that want to just do shit on their own and fucking say, ah, fuck this guy, what the fuck does he know? I don't want you to turn into one of these miserable motherfuckers. You'll see them. You'll see them. So many places. You just hate life. 